Smart switches are nice to have when they work in isolation, but they really become useful if they are set up as part of an automation. Automating your lights to be switched on as you enter a dark room is an example. This is the reason why many people want to integrate their son of devices with platforms such as Home Assistant. Yes, son of devices do work with Home Assistant. There are two approaches that you can take to get son of devices working with Home Assistant. The first approach is to set up son of LAN integration. And the second approach is to flash son of devices with Tasmota firmware and integrate it with Home Assistant. Hello everybody, this is Ali Reza. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Kian.Smart Home. This tutorial refers to the latter approach. Having a son of touch switch running on Tasmota, I'll show you how to integrate it with Home Assistant. Stay tuned to do the integration and find out about the compatibility. By the way, subscribing my channel motivates me to upload more videos. So please click the subscribe button. And at the end, if you find this video informative, do not forget to click the like button. Thank you. What is needed to do the integration? A son of touch switch flashed with Tasmata, MQTT broker add-on, and the MQTT integration set up in Home Assistant. Tasmata devices MQTT setting configured to communicate with the MQTT broker. Tasmata devices configured for native discovery means we must turn on set option 90. In Home Assistant, in sidebar, I select Supervisor. I click on Add on a Store tab. Among the add ons, I find and select Mosquito Broker, which is an open source MQTT broker. Then select Install. I wait till this add on is installed in Home Assistant. It's beneficial to know that MQTT is a protocol used by many smart home devices and it is required in order for them to communicate. The MQTT broker functions like the post office, which Home Assistant and Tasmota use in order to send messages to each other. The add-on is installed. I click on Start. If everything was successful, you will see Uninstall, Restart, and Stop. Let's configure Tasmota. Assuming you have already flashed Tasmota to your device, connected the Tasmota device to your Wi-Fi network and have configured it. Now that we have our device configured, we can set up MQTT. I click on configuration and then configure MQTT. In host section, you have to enter the IP of your home assistant. Mine is 192.168.11.2. The port must be 1883. In user section, you have to enter user of your home assistant. And the password is the password of your home assistant. In topic section, you have to set a name for your device. I set it son of switch. This is the name that MQTT will use when communicating with the broker. After setting parameters or let's say configuring MQTT, I click on save. Configuration saved, device will restart in a few seconds. I click on main menu. In order to turn on discovery mode so that Home Assistant can auto-discover our device, 
we must turn on set option 90. Simply I click on console in enter command section I write or enter set option 19 space on S is capital O is capital then enter shortly after turning this option on Tasmota will broadcast a list of information over MQTT to home assistant you should see the messages transmitted to home assistant now when we go to home assistant our device should be auto discovered in home assistant I click on configuration in sidebar then select integrations MQTT I click on configure select submit created configuration you can see that the son of T1 3CH Tasmota is found. Before clicking on finish, you can set an area for it. MQTT, one device and four entities. I click on the entities. You can see the Tasmota, Tasmota status, Tasmota 2 and Tasmota 3. Let's go to overview page. I click on three dots, select edit dashboard, click add card select entities I remove the selected entities and from the drop down list I select Tasmota Tasmota 2 Tasmota 3 the last device is Tasmota status in title I set a name for it click Save okay in overview page we have our son of switch we can turn it on or turn it off from this page all of the relays or each relay individually If we turn on the device or off manually, immediately you have its feedback in Home Assistant. So having Sonoff devices running Tasmota, you can control them using Home Assistant and it is fully compatible i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any question do not hesitate to leave comments bye bye